Imagine a graph. On one axis, you plot MMR. On the other axis, you plot the average number of Shadow Blade purchases. If you do this, you will end up with a graph steeper than the graph of Dota 2's player count. You know why? Because honestly, invisibility is a clunky pain in the ass to manage. Which is why in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to counter invisibility. First off, remember that most invisibilities in Dota have a fade time. This is important because most root abilities in the game provide true sight. So if you cast them on an invis unit during their fade time, you can often kill them in the root duration. One of the most annoying things about invis heroes is that they can turn up anywhere because they can just sneak past your wards. This is precisely why in pro matches, you'll see that supports are always placing sentries on top of their wards, in particular at the entrance of their jungles. This way, you may not know where the annoying invis guy is within your jungle, but at least you'll know that he is in there somewhere, and so you can go kill him. Invis is pretty annoying, but it would be way more annoying if this little guy was not in the game. So, let's take a detailed look at what Dust of Appearance actually does. As of 7.31, Dust deals 25 damage to revealed units, meaning that if you hit them, they can't just blink away from you. Dust also slows invis heroes by 20%, meaning that enemies that are hit are encouraged to break their invis, else continue to be slowed. It's also worth noting, by the way, that the animation for Dust looks a lot smaller than the AoE actually is, and it looks like it moves slowly outward, but it's actually instantaneous in the entire AoE. So don't be deceived by the animation. If you're too lazy or too rich to buy Dust, don't worry, there are solutions for this, such as be Zeus, be Bounty Hunter, buy Gem, lose. That's about it. Good luck. 